Yeah! My connection to the internet is not as good as it should be to get a high quality stream. Check this out, guys. I got a, I finally got a new keyboard. My Casio, my trusty Casio keyboard. Um, if you're, if you're a long hauler here, Noah's been broken for quite some time. But, uh... Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, that's the sample. If you could break out what it was, I just smashed it on the keyboard 16 times on accident. I didn't even know it was like... I didn't even... Oh. So this guy took, like, a piece of a clarinet and put it on a long tube and made what I'm going to call the dubstep clarinet. That's a term that I coined myself through my vast creativity and knowledge. Bass clarinet neck. Long tube. <laughs> Welcome to today's garbage can of fun. Essentially, it just sounds like your standard, typical uh, clarinet. See, I used to play the trumpet, and when I was in band class, it was always the clarinet kids. Like, you're sitting there just trying to learn a new trumpet song, and then the clarinet kids are like, you know, 10 feet over, just all like... Maybe instead of going straight into just impact chaos, uh, we'll do a little loop, you know, like a four bar loop of drums and percussion. That's a cool way to start a song. Nate hacks. And then, you know, probably like a vocal that's like something like just a bunch of shit about bass. And it's like, then the bass is bass when the bass goes in the bass, like. All right, that's pretty dope. How's it going to sound incredibly obnoxiously fast? <laughs> Crunch test. So check this out. Now listen in secession. If I, if I even said that right, probably did because I know how to pronounce words. Here, check it out. And then this this should go uh, this should go high passed in so it's like uh, a journey rather than just an experience uh, because if your music is an experience um, people are more likely to uh, have an experience whereas whereas if it's a journey then <laughs> or if it's of a journey then they're more likely to have a journey. If your music is an experience, people are more likely to have an experience. Whereas if your music is a journey, people are more likely. I have a journey. Also, these are these are for sure too loud, but um, hey, who cares? Do I have to bring back our our motto here? I if I need to, I'll just leave this here on the screen the whole time. If anyone has any issues, uh, I'll just pull this up. <laughs> Not that part. Let's OTT his voice. Long two, long, long two, long two. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on. Bass in your face, when the bass in your face. Long two. <laughs> when the bass come, get me in your bass in your face. Ah. Yeah, see that? You don't need to know what it's saying, okay? As long as it's on beat, I could be like, I pee my pants when I go outside sometimes. <laughs> you just be like at the show being like, oh, 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 shit, yo. Try not to pee inside your jeans. When the bass come, get me in your bass in your face. Ah. The dumb stuff you do. Just kidding. We only love the fart samples. Hey guys, welcome to my live performance. 
Oh, that's right. And I was in the middle of um. What the fuck is even happening? It was supposed to be this, because that's funny. Stop! Well, am I summoning Satan on accident? <laughs> He does one that's just like a sick distorted Yeah. This is like sounding like destroyed. Like a, a destroyed song. I can't think of which one. That's like more of a B section. Look at what? <laughs> Hold on, I got a little idea brewing up in the in the old stupid crap factory here. That's what I call my brain. Alright. It's a little too much going on. It, so it sounded cool in my head. I'm sorry, my crap factory, but uh This song's kind of about uh, bass, so I have like a I have a slight hunch that uh, sub bass might help. Any advice that I give is to not be taken. <laughs> what keys are clarinet in? E. e. <laughs> It's not, it's not, I'm sorry. False E. False E advertising. Why is there reverb on my sub bass? Probably because I put it on the master channel. Nice. Okay. That's an all around good universal chant right there. And then right here it needs dun 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 like a new kind of dun 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 like a like a low like a like a like a like a dun like a, you have your t standard dun dun duns and then this needs like a low pitched hard hitting the dun 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 dun. See how it's got the dun 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 five clicks, five plucks instead of four, fellas. If you got four and you want more, make it five so you can jive. Hey, hey guys, when the bass. Welcome back to Does It Loop. I'm your host. Uh, a half eaten turkey sandwich. <laughs> Rancho Steakhouse. We got all your favorite things over here, including steak. That's it. Long clarinet. One man. Against all the odds finds truth in the emptiness of falsehoods. Winner of 1700 Academy Awards from director Michael Gibson. Oh! <laughs> hey Nate, I hope you're having a nice day. 
I'm gonna get a lot of drum and bass today. There's a hidden subliminal message in here. Kind of like a Where's Waldo type thing. Oh, this looks pretty bussin'. Yeah, there it is. There's Jesus. <laughs> Does anyone know who Candace is? Who's Candace? Who's being sus? Is it me? Am I being sus? Kind of looks like it. Check out that hair. cares you raise a valid point with calves like that i knew you were gonna have like experience making sick 808 sub bass dude <laughs> is that the weirdest thing i've ever said probably Okay, this is actually so fucking sick. Who, who's seen this? This is my shit, this show. <laughs> this is like a, this is a way better version of that. I'm like wholeheartedly surprised for like the first ooh nice impact there dude 